this is a graph theory question we have been given a graph g which is directed and this is its vertex set 1 2 3 4 5 and it has a set of edges e represented by the adjacency matrix as shown for that adjacency matrix each of its entry a i j is defined as 1 if this condition is satisfied j is less than equal to a which means if we construct it this way it will be a 5 cross 5 matrix 1, 2, 3 and 4. So let us say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and same way 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now I will be representing the rows and J will be representing the column. So if J is less than equal to I, at this position I and J both are equal. So it will be having 1. Now here I is 1. So we are considering one based indexing. So at this position i is 1 but j is 2 so j is greater it will be 0 all of them will be 0 similarly like this so adjacency matrix would be this as a result now for this graph what they are saying a of i j equal to 1 indicates a directed edge from node i to node j that we already know now they have defined a directed spanning tree for this graph that is a terminology they have defined that for any root r which is among the vertex set if it is taken as a subgraph t of g g is our graph and from that we are taking some subgraph which means some part of that graph has been taken such that the undirected version of t which means whatever part we had taken out of that graph when we convert that part from directed to undirected which means we convert its directed edges to undirected then that should result in a tree and that tree should contain a directed path from R to every other vertex in V which basically means that this is like a directed acyclic graph. We have a node and from that we traverse in the path to all other nodes which are present in that graph. So we have been given 5 as the root node and we have to find out the number of such directed spanning trees. So if we are starting from 5, we have to find out the number of such DAGs such that they will cover all of the remaining nodes that is 1, 2, 3 and 4 in the path and in any order basically. So we are just concerned with this should be a tree. This DAG when we construct a directed version of that, so it actually represents like the directed spanning tree and how many of them will be possible. We can have the order such as 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 3, 1, anything like that. So we have to keep 5 as the starting vertex and we are, we are good to go with any permutation of the remaining 4 vertices. It is just that there must be directed paths existing from 5 to all of them. But in any order, we are not concerned with that. So for finding the number of such trees, we will just take the permutation of these 4 vertices so we'll start with 5 and for these 4 places we can fit 1, 2, 3, 4 in any order. These 4 can be permuted among themselves in 4 factorial or 24 ways. So that will be the number of such directed spanning trees rooted at 5 for this graph. Hence the answer for this question will be 24.